Strike a pose. Do, do, do. Strike a pose. <laughs> I feel like a supermodel with this fan going. I'm like my hair fibers all out of my head, but. You give me fever. Never know how much I love you. Da da. Da da. Da da. Da da. Go dancing. <laughs> Danielle! Like, Habibi, Habibi. Ha! Fupa attack. Mm. Mm. I attack you with my Fupa. <laughs> uh oh. Did you see anything? My name is Didi and I'm on my way to get to know. To go get the clap. Mmm, she has an error. I love your falafel. <laughs> Hey Gauls, welcome back. Last we left Chantal, she was broken up with Nader, and he just got back from Montreal with his friend in his truck. Nader's dumbass accidentally went live and showed Chantal, he quickly ended it, and came up with the biggest lie on the internet lol. Here is a screenshot of a Chantal shot. To just say, oh, I love and leave. She uh, asked for a wife for this dinner. She doesn't like throwing camera anyway. I say, no, I cannot do that. Don't laugh. Okay. I'm not gonna hide. <laughs> I'm not gonna hide. <laughs> I want to die right now. For those who didn't understand him, he said that she just came here and wanted to apologize, but he wants her to do it on live. She pay for the food, and he will cook it for her. He is such a big liar, the food was all out, and he was getting ready for a cooking video, but claims that she just got there. He was so scared that he got caught he came up with the stupidest lie ever. There you have it. So we are forced to be public about this. Yeah. Yeah. What should we do? Like, it wasn't that supposed to be public, this apology. I'm not gonna, yes, but I'm not gonna <clears throat> meet with you. Enjoy this. I'm not gonna meet with you after I talk to all these people, after all this week, and they say, no, I don't. Uh, I'm not gonna meet with you and they don't tell me. Chantal was telling the truth, they were together and they met before this day too, but he is trying to make it seem like he is honest and doesn't want to hide anything though. As you can see, all the food is ready and she also bought her microphone for him, so he is obviously lying. She was her underwear, to apologize, she was not in underwear. She came with this thing she was wearing and a kind of scarf, a big scarf. Mm -hmm. Chantal was still there and you can hear her snoring though. He is also looking to his right and describing the scarf she was wearing. What I'm trying to tell him, and he doesn't listen, so I have no choice but to come on here this morning and sell my side because I'm sorry, boy, but I love you, but I'm not going to take a fucking career hit. Not just a career hit, a moral hit, like on my morality. I'm not going to lie. Like, I ended up going to get them in Montreal, and I'm sorry for lying. Chantal has no problem lying, she only has a problem when Nader forces her to do so. I was like, no, 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 and then he went live and he just like forced the camera on me. Because I, I said, he even said, he's like, she doesn't want to be on camera. No, of course I don't. And I have to be okay with the fact that maybe we're just not going to be completely monogamous people. I watch him and Didi have fun and there's no fucking drama and I'm honestly fucking jealous. Like, he was very, very, very loving yesterday. He shaved my head right down. We were laughing. He made me food <clears throat> like it was old times. He freaked out. I know how to placate him now. It's like, we don't, we don't know how to be together, but we don't know how to be without each other, too. I let him use, I brought over my media stand because he wanted it, so I gave it to him. I don't mind being a giving person, like, for people, like... It's scary that Chantal doesn't have limits with this guy. How is that even possible? He can do anything he wants, and she would run right back to him. Lies about who brought you home from Italy. Why? She won't bring me home from Montreal. Even she would have seen say, no, guys, I swear I don't bring him from Montreal. Oh my god, he's so stupid. I can look up conversation. I have with Didi Lulu. That's how I was communicating with him. I'm saying, I'm here. I'm pulled over. I'm not coming until you answer the phone. Blah, blah, blah. That I, pick, I have proof that I picked him up in Montreal. Exactly. You heard me snoring. Like, I was like, literally, like, he was like this. I was beside him like this. 
And he kept nudging me like, really, fuck, fuck it. Just be honest. Just be honest. And I slept over. Nada doesn't want people to know that she still gives him money and goes to his house because he swore he is done and that he will get a restraining order. Chantal has to lie whenever she goes there because she is stupid and is willing to do that for him. Also, I think we all believe that she picked him up in Montreal. She is that stupid. Are you showing how loyal she is? That's actually sad, Didi. Dee Dee. But like you're a smarter woman than that. I guess not. You're dumb like me. All right, Didi Lulu. You fucking bitch, I'm blocking you. You have a life? You want to go there? You have a life? What was spending a whole week at Natter's? <laughs> Chili Gypsy says thanks for the super chat, Natter. Go have fun with your drinks with your friends. Desperate, sad old woman. Fuck off. Dee Dee says that Chantal didn't pick him up. I don't know why Debbie thinks she is a reliable source, Lowell. She is just like Chantal. She will do whatever Nader tells her to do. The winking was, you guys never did that? Like, if you wink, it, it doesn't mean anything, or if you go like this. And he, of course I lied in the stream. Just the fucking, just anything to placate him, go along with it. No, he didn't elbow. He, um, did something with his hand, like, to wake me up. So I think, I think once he may have shoved me, I don't know. But, to get me to wake up. <laughs> So we're gonna hotel bees next week. I have to go travel for that collaboration. No one cares about why, Liliana. I already did. I'm addressing it by not addressing it. I'm not back together with Nader. If it's lying by omission, what about just not answering something? You guys just know, okay? Fine. You know my situation. She was being vague and we all know what that means. She is back with him. Chantal drove eight hours for a collab with Carly Steele. She said at the hotel the whole time, she recorded a mukbang for that channel, and did two live streams with her. You think I'm gonna drive eight hours with Natter? You want me to, like, crash my car into a cliff? Hi, Raquel. I'm alone, yes. <laughs> Chanta openly admits that she is obsessed and addicted to Nader, but he claims that she is nothing to him. But we have seen plenty of times that he is lying. He is watching all her live stream lore. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm live now. He's calling me. Do you guys know where I am? Hello? Oh, I'm too drunk to care. Stop calling me. I'm muting it. You guys are beezers. Yeah, yeah she wants to make me bubble ganoush. I'm kidding. Sure. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Gambit, why? Because we were doing some um, OnlyFans pictures, like collaboration. So here's my money, and Josh has to get squashed by Chantel. Excuse me, squashing is a fetish for some people. Oh my god. <laughs> I told you my fans oh are crazy. My god. But I want to get like a FUPA lift. No, for real, like when you've been really overweight, you, yeah, yeah, you get more yeah. fat on your FUPA, and then it just like. You have to get it cut off like mm -hmm. anything else. Cute, especially the butt picture. Oh yeah, that was cute. Are you gonna send me them after? Yes, I will. Okay, I won't post them anywhere. I just wanna see them. She did only fans pictures with Carly. Can't wait to see that. They looked like they were having fun, especially the guy. He was laughing at all the Fupa jokes. So it was fun. I, I've never, I, like I said, I never hung out with other YouTubers in person. Did everyone, like, everyone did you ever hang out with any YouTubers in person? What challenge? <laughs> what the fuck are people talking about? <laughs> Carly did a hot Cheetos challenge with Amberlynn she trolled the fuck out of her. Amberlynn ended up eating a whole big bag of Cheetos, while Carly was with her two skinny friends, and they were laughing and giggling, and didn't do the challenge. I don't know what being 17 has to do with anything. Oh god Holly, I swear. I don't even know what I'll do. Who the fuck do you think it is then, biggest beezer? I think my heart just dropped into my toes. I really hope it's not that, but it feels, like, it feels so much like STDD. You think it was STDD? I think this guy, like, this guy is gonna fucking kill me. No, she is asking her viewers who gave her the clap. Also, I love when Chantal calls DD names, the irony of it all. I went over that day with the tequila and the loop cap was open. <clears throat> and that's when I think it happened. I didn't go to the clinic yet, but I'm going to. I have no idea, Angel Rose. I suspect I do. I don't know why it's in my throat. No, it's probably elsewhere too. I have some other symptoms that <clears throat> I need to get tested because... <laughs> I have an itch and I have a sore throat. I have an itch and a sore throat. People speculated that she was just saying this to make Dee Dee scared so she wouldn't sleep with Nader Lowell. But it has happened before, so it is possible that she got it again. It's done. Hi guys. How's everybody doing? No, the more I watch, the more I believe everything Chantal said about Nader. 
He can't be alone. Anytime Chantal does something, he calls Dee Dee and she is right there. All the food they are eating was bought by poor Chantal Lowell. Look at how Dee Dee looks at him. She is in love just like Chantal. I talked to him off and on when I was in Windsor. Sorry, he called me one day to ask me for money, um, which I gave him. Yes, I have this. I can prove that actually. So e transfer to matter. Um, he just gave away 250 for us to watch him cook for Dee Dee. I remember Dee Dee saying she was going to like, she, I remember on the election, like, oh, I'll come Saturday. I have a feeling he told her to come. That's why he didn't go live Saturday and he didn't call me all that night. So she gave him $250 for groceries or to pay for Dee Dee's Uber. I think Dee Dee is desperate enough to pay it herself Lowell. So he probably used the money for food and to make Chantal jealous. All other than my throat being sore and my vagina being itchy. So putting two and two together... Fuck. That's him. Maybe they're sex related. Sophia. I had sex related bruises from that fucker too. Nader is super insecure and you can tell just by watching him. Here is a clip of him getting upset that DD doesn't like the chicken he cooked low. You really eat side all, eh? Huh? You don't eat side all. I just had some meat. We just came in. Yeah, I do, I do. I was just wanted the no I know, that was not from last night. You don't like it, right? I do. Don't touch it. Brown meat, white meat, I don't mind. I don't mind. She is just like Chantal, they can't even speak their mind around him. She said it was from last night, so it probably tasted bad, but she couldn't even say that Lowell. You think she gives him money or just DJs? Um, I don't know. He lent her, apparently she lent him money and he asked me for money to pay her back. Get rid of this character in my universe. Hi guys. He wants to show her in his bed. He is obsessed with her and he is using DD to make Chantal mad. Just watching. How old are you, DD? I'm 46. This is the thing I'm wearing. <laughs> My gut is really round. Like, this is supposed to go down like this. I have a super chat from Plath, but it's not very nice. Mix with your money. Banana, syrup, and honey mixed together. Yes. Right? <laughs> that would be very good. He is so stupid, he is making a joke about the time he went off on Chantal over honey and syrup. And stupid DD is clueless, and she is just agreeing with him. It was bold before. <laughs> but now, it's we'll put some wig. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Not pretty, guys. <laughs> a lot of people found this funny, it is pathetic to me. He is so insecure that he laughs though his teeth, but he has the audacity to make fun of her appearance Lowell. Also, just listen to Dee Dee wheezing just like Chantal, Gore what the hell are you doing with your life? Someone said that Nader's teeth look like broken piano keys, and I don't know how he sits there and has the audacity to make fun of anyone Lowell. Nader has anger issues and here is an example. He was making bechamel and people were telling him that he was doing it wrong. He loses his shit. That's it. Just do what you want to do. I don't like my bechamel really white. My choice. In case anyone is wondering, no egg doesn't go in bechamel. They're... In your bechamel. In, in mine bechamel. just go. Yes. Sorry for that. There's different ways of making things, guys. Maybe you just have a little bit of knowledge. Not eggs in bechamel. Hmm. This is my way, don't show me my way to cook then. Yes. It's not about wrong here, with mess, mine, you watch here because I'm right. When I follow your recipe, you can give me advice. But when you follow mine, it's mine. You add the bechamel and the pasta on top only. You sound different too. But if you keep talking, you're gonna keep talking. It's not burning your heads. No? You can cook however you want, it's just funny seeing him lose his shit over one comment Lowell. He was so mad that he didn't feel the heat on his hands Lowell.
Chantal has always said that Nader is a clean person now we know that was a lie, his stares are nasty. This explains why he wants to be with someone like Chantal who is dirty. I wake up to them eating some dry ass, you're gonna sit there and diss me with your fucking Donald Trump comb over eating his dry ass pasta and his gonorrhea penis? Give me a fucking break, Dee Dee, I am not jealous. It's not dry at all. Is that how stupid I look? Did I look pathetic like Dee Dee? At the time he gave his ex two grams of my powder, I left like two grams there. I came back a couple days later, whatever, asking about it. Well, I gave it to my ex, it was her birthday. The buffalo's mad. Did her put her horn in the wall? <laughs> Again, I don't understand how someone who looks like Nader can talk shit about anyone's appearance. I don't like to judge, and I don't like Chantal, but he is ugly as hell, and him being a bum doesn't help it at all. Usually, if I like need to leave him for like a few hours when he sees a friend it's always sketchy as fuck i'll drop him like somewhere in like really ghetto fucking ghetto to his friends and every time i see him later that night or whatever he's so different and like and he always gets mad like he always accused me of being on something because like, i know what you're like you're like different you know then we have a clap era lol chantal suspected that she had an std because she was itching and she claims that she has only been with nader so he gave it to her she received a call on Nader's behalf from the clinic. Who? Is Nader there? And so I'm like, hmm. I'm like, sorry, this is, I'm like, sorry, this is like his friend. Uh, can I help you? Oh, can you um, just have him call Melanie from the um, CSLSC, which is a Gatno clinic, STI clinic. I'm not trolling. I'm not fucking kidding. And it's not fucking funny. And you're a piece of cheating shit. <laughs> this is twice you fucking give me an STD after I give you so much money, food, pay bills. This is how you treat me? Joking aside, I do feel like he does have feelings for me. The problem with 